Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. It is time for another spiritual story time. Um, a video in which I share an experience of mine that has anything to do with the spiritual topic. Not just magic. Um, this is actually another dream I had once and it caused such a stir for me that I I had trouble sleeping the rest of the night. Um, it started off, um, I remember the dream, at first I was standing in front of my home, well at that point it was my parents' house, and you know, I, I remember I flew. So I remember how fun the dream was when it started out. I happened to fly over to um, the Canton area of Michigan, which is about 15-20 uh, minutes away from where I live, and he, um, there was, uh, I was in the parking lot of a Logan's Roadhouse that used to be there, and it was on fire. And, of course, I was looking around, and I'm like, uh, you know, I tried to reach for my phone to call for help, but I didn't have my phone. I tried looking around for anyone. There was no cars in the parking lot whatsoever. But um, there was uh, something unusual. One, um, the Logan's Roadhouse had another story to it. It was uh, taller than I remember. And I remember seeing this figure. He was walking across this open window while the uh, building was still on fire. He was wearing this dark cloak. And I remember, I'm like, what is he doing up there? You know? And I remember he turned toward me, and it's like the dream had me zoom in onto his face. And it was this hideous demonic looking thing I remember he had all these different horns growing out of his face his skin was burnt and like fleshy kind of pinkish red he, he did not have eyeballs he had almost sockets black sockets like a skeleton and I remember his mouth just there were no lips there were just teeth and he was wearing the uh, a dark black cloak and gloves. And I remember I was so startled that I couldn't stop staring at him. But eventually when I could, I went to turn and, you know, get away from the situation. And there he was right in front of me. He didn't say nothing. All I heard him do was growl. He was just growling like some kind of wolf beast kind of creature and he did nothing just growl and stare at me with his dark socket eyes Ooh. and I remember I woke up not too long after that and it terrified me so I remember it was like three in the morning when I got up and I lit some sage and I started smudging around my room. And I live in a basement. So um, technically, uh, according to a smudging experience, what the only thing that would do was drive any dark forces upstairs. But at that point, it didn't matter. You know, I was like half asleep and I'm going like, I'm like, I banish all negative energy. You know, I, you know, banish any demonic entity that's going to enter my life. You know, it was kind of funny, but it was also kind of scary. Um, I took it as a sign that something evil was trying to get into my life. Um, when you work with magic, you always take that risk. So that's why you always want to make sure you have all kinds of precautions in place. When working with magic, you make sure you have, um, you know, blessed candles, uh, blessed incense, maybe uh, some energized water, holy water, um, sage, burning herbs, 
uh, making sure your energy and your emotions and your mind are all in perfect synchronicity of a positive nature. Um, symbols of things that you know make you happy. Maybe symbols of loved ones. Maybe a family pet or a best friend. You know, something like that. You know, just to make sure that something you can look at and automatically feel happiness. Something that will grow a smile on your face. Those are just one of many things you can do to make sure that you have proper protection. Now, I always make sure I do, but, you know, you never know. Sometimes uh, if you do one, it might not be enough against maybe a stronger force. So you never know. So I just wanted to make sure that nothing was trying to invade uh, my life through my dreams. Because dreams are basically just portal to another dimension, the astral or the spirit realm. <clears throat> so I just made sure I cleansed my room. And I remember I took each crystal from my room because I kind of had like five or six set up around my room. And I immersed them in the sage smoke. And I took them in my hand and I filled them with new energy and I reset their energy just to make sure they were up to snuff. Because whenever you um, have crystals that are um, for the purpose of maintaining energy or maybe absorbing energy, every two weeks, perhaps, it's a good idea to smudge them. Depending on if there's, you know, how much negative energy is within your living space, one to two weeks, I would cleanse them with either charged sage, which is basically sage that's just charged with your own intent, your own will and intent, or um, charged and or blessed incense. So, um, even though I had all that in place and I was confident that nothing was going to happen, it was still so hard for me to go to sleep that night. And I woke up so groggy so tired and i had to go to work so i'm like oh here we go another day but it was um definitely scary if you guys have had a similar experience please share it in the comment section down below if you have any comments uh to make or maybe some questions um involving uh your dreams maybe i can help if you're confused all right, that is uh, it. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with anybody you feel this uh, will pertain to or help. Thank you guys so much. And may your spiritual path be smooth sailing and one of love and light.